Hi, welcome to Excel Lab. Org. We'll see VLOOKUP function of Microsoft Excel, and here is our employee database. So, uh, this is a database of employee of an organization, and uh, I've taken till 15. And uh, you assume that it is a big database of let's say 500 employees, and our objective is when I enter here employee ID, then for that employee ID, it should tell the name of employee, the department, and the designation. So for that, we will use VLOOKUP function. So here, begin with VLOOKUP. So write equal to and VLOOKUP, and here is a function, okay? So it tells that it looks for a value in the leftmost column of a table, and then returns a value in the same row from a column you specify. So when I when I enter here the value here in employee ID or, or let's say when I enter the ID then it looks up in this table and returns the output. Okay, so put parenthesis and okay so here is the syntax. So lookup value, the first one you can see here the lookup value. So it looks for this value then the table array so this is our table so you select the whole table so you select the table put comma and then the column index okay now full name okay in this table in this table you can see this in green color okay so the name full name i have written in the second column okay for this table the column is second so you write two and then put comma and then it is asking true or false okay so you can see uh, the true and false it's approximate and false approximate and for false it is exact match so so we want the exact value so write false close the parenthesis and okay now it is showing na so let let me let me write let me check so if i enter employee 0010 zero, zero, Okay, then it is showing the full name that is Harry King, right? It's correct. Okay, same we will do for the department equal to VLOOKUP. Okay, so lookup value is the employee ID, the database is our table. Now, the column index department is the third column, so write three and we want the exact match okay so it's showing marketing so come to 10 this one so this is marketing and the last one designation okay so same similarly Okay, here the column index. This is the fourth one, and we want exact match. Okay, now let us check. Let us test this model. So, if I enter employee zero 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 one, okay, the first one. If I if I enter the first one, this one, okay, and check the values. Okay it's coming David Edward finance and accounts and senior manager we can see here right check more okay zero zero let's say one four so it's this one okay Tony Johnson supply chain and executive okay so uh, this is how we can extract from the database the values okay so this is one way we can use data validation also So I'm deleting this one. Okay, here using data validation, you go to data, data validation, and the first one. Okay, click on that, and there in the settings, okay, you click on the settings, and there in the validation criteria, you select the list. Okay, then come to source, and the employee ID we have written in the B column so select all give the range okay and you go to error there you can see by default it is stop if we enter 
other than employee id then it will stop there only and title for the error i'm writing let's say incorrect and the message we can write let's say enter correct id okay or better don't don't write enter you write select select correct id okay okay now here you can see the drop down arrow and let's say if i select let's say employee id 50005 so check it here okay it's josh clark finance and accounts executive 